Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm showing you how to create a print on demand cutting board using Canva and Printify. Let's get into it. So we're starting off with Printify, and I opened it here on Shopify uh, under the apps. And then I am going to open the item that I want. So I'm going to be doing the cutting board. So I just put the cutting board. They have two different price points, but I really don't understand the price difference. They seem like they're the same, so I don't really think there's anything different from them. So this is an item, a glass cutting board. So the shipping is a little bit expensive. Maybe that's what it has to do. Let me look at the other one. And then let's see, this one's 21. And then it has $12 on top of that. So it just seems like that other one is better priced. So we're gonna start designing it. Well, first I'm going to show you how you can basically figure out the measurements so you know how to start the project in Canva. So you start designing and it will tell you right here the, the pixels and the size that you should start with. The smaller size is going to have a different requirement from the bigger size. So you want to check for each one and see this is going to be a different pixel size 3150 by 2350. And then the other one is going to be 2250 by 1650. Let's start with the bigger size. And then I'm going to show you how we open that up in Canva. So 3150 by 2350. And do in Canva, we're going to press create. A design and you're going to press custom size and you're going to put those pixels in there so it's 3150 by 2350 and then you're going to press oops 3150 by 2350 and then you're going to press create a new design and then it's going to open it up for you okay everything looks good so this is the size and i'm going to show you a design that i made and how we do that so so I like the wood texture. You can do like graphics or you can do a photo. I like this brown wood, right? And you just want it to stretch across the whole cutting board, right? And you can switch it wherever you like the grain to be. And then I get a frame, like one of these. This is just going to be a quick little tutorial on how to do this. You can do however you like, if you like it this way or like it that way. And there's other frames you can pick if you don't necessarily like this one. And then you just want to make sure all the wood is covered and then click off. And there's some other ones you can pick if you don't necessarily like this one. We'll test it out. But let's see. Yeah, there's many frames that you can choose from. Oh, look, a little CD. That'd be cool for something else. So there's many types of frames that you can use. But for this one, we're just going to use like this torn up one. And then I'm going to pick a marble. Oops. Marble. And then whatever you like. So, see, I like this one. And they can kind of move it. Or if you didn't like this side can flip it to the other side and there you can have it and you can mess with the contrast too um, whatever you like the pink one see that looks really cool too press copy and then put a different design if you want to have different designs oh that's a video so that's not gonna work but um, see certain things oh, that's kind of cool too right and then yeah you just keep copying and then you can keep on changing it 
see those would be really cool and I'm going to show you how to upload them. So first we have them in the biggest size and you see how there's a little bit of brown right here so you want to make sure everything is covered and it might be like that because we just copied it. There we go. I really like these designs. And do like one more. That one looks really cool too. See, that looks nice too. <laughs> I might have to. I like these a lot. So, I came up with four. And remember, this is the bigger size 31 by 50 by 2350. And let's go back into Shopify and figure out what the other size is 2250 by 1650 pixels. So, what we're going to do is we're going to resize to 2250 by 1650 pixels and we're going to copy it and resize it so we have both open and there we have both sizes so what we're going to do is download it and it's already in the pixel sizes we're going to do it for each um each one each size there's two sizes and then we just download now i'm going to do it for the other one and then 3150 by 2350 and then download and there we go and then we're gonna go and put them into printify we're back in printify and then we're just gonna start on the smaller size and the smaller size is a 22 by 1650 and then we're gonna upload that and then you'll see the resolution right here and then we're gonna open the size 11 by 15 but you're gonna press make a specific design for 11 by 15. So now you can now trash this and it won't affect it. And then you're gonna go back to my device and then this is a 22 by 1650, the smaller size. So you wanna go into the bigger size and get that one. And there we go, and it has 200 DPI versus it was a smaller um, resolution for the bigger size. And now it has its own picture, the same picture, but it's a resolution for both sizes and then you can do a preview of it and see how it looks see there we go looks really cool there we go so we got both sizes and then we'll save the product and then we're going to do another one just so i can show you how to do it one more time so we're going to open the cutting board start designing i'm going to get the picture and it always starts with the smaller size so you just want to go back into the smaller size which is this one and then you're going to open the second design let's see i like it but it's kind of like let's do another one i kind of like this one a lot so let's do this one and it's in that smaller size and then we're gonna do the 11 by 15, make a specific design, delete this one, and then add a design. And then we're going to the bigger one, the 3150 by 2350. And there we go. And then you can preview it. There we go. And there we go. Oh, I really like that one. And then you just press save product. And this is already connected to my store, so all I have to do is press publish. Um, what you can do is you can pick the photo that you like and then um, yeah you can pick the photo you like you can rename the title do the descriptions you can add a size table but it has the sizes right here add your tags um, your pricing if you want to adjust the pricing and then you can put it in whatever collection that you have and then you just press publish and then it'll show up into your store publish and then it starts going to publishing. So it'll let us know when it's on there. But we can go into my products. And then we can see some of the boards that I've already done. I have this one. And there you go. I have the marble one. I really like this one. And there you go. And then it has all the pictures. And they're already automatically uploaded. And there you go. And then people can pick the sizes. And everything goes good. And that's how you do it. All right, guys, it was a quick little tutorial, but hope you got some tips on creating some print on demand products. And don't forget to subscribe or like the video. Until next tutorial, catch you in the next one.
next time.